This video deals with how you can use graphical techniques to help you solve what we call trig or trigonometric equations. A trigonometric equation is simply an equation which has a trig term in it. So for example, in this particular case, we've got sine x equals 0.5. That is what we call a trigonometric equation. You will have seen how to deal with this when you were dealing with right angle trigonometry work or as I refer to it, SOHCAHTOA. So if you've done SOHCAHTOA or right angle trigonometry work you would have seen how to solve equations like that using your calculator by using the inverse sign button. All you would do is you would press shift or inverse sign of 0.5 and your calculator would tell you that the answer is 30 degrees. What I'm going to do is use a graphical technique I'm not going to do it accurately, I'm just going to show you the principle about how you'd use a graph to come up with this answer of 30 degrees. Okay, so how would we do this? Well, as always, we now look at the equation to solve, this trig equation, and you've got a left-hand side, which is sine x. So the first thing you would do is you would plot a y equals sine x graph. Now you need to do this accurately if you are purely going to use your graph to get the answer. So we're not going to use a calculator or anything like that once we've got the graph set up. Okay? We're going to use the graph to get the answer accurately. Now, I'm not going to do a table of values here. It takes too long. That's for another video. This is the principle behind it. If you were to do a table of values and you were to plot the sine x graph, notice here it tells you we want to look between 0 and 360 degrees. So you would just do a sketch, I'm doing a sketch here of y equals sine x. If you wanted an accurate graph to give you an accurate answer, you'd do a table of values and plot this accurately from 0 to 360. So that is 0 degrees, that's 180 degrees, and that is 360 degrees. Up here, that is plus 1, and that's minus 1. That's the basic sketch of sine x, so I'm just showing you the principle behind what's going on. So I've plotted that graph. Okay, it's just a sketch, but you'd be doing it accurately, perhaps. Um, now, what I need to do is now look at the right-hand side, and I need to plot y equals 0 0.5, which is a straight-line graph. A straight-line graph, horizontal, which is drawn at 0 0.5 on the y-axis. So on the y-axis, it goes from 0 to 1 there, so halfway up, 0 0.5, we indicate that, and you simply draw a horizontal line going across, and I will label it y equals 0 0.5. Now in this particular case, you will see, even though it's a sketch, you can still, still see what's going on, that the straight line I've drawn and the curve, the sine graph, between 0 and 360, actually cross at two intersection points. There they are, 1 and 2. So actually, for sine x equals 0 0.5, there are two answers. Now if you were to just do it on a calculator, using your Sokotoa or year, um, your year 9, year 10 Sokotoa techniques, inverse sine 0.5, the calculator would just throw out one answer, 30 degrees at you. And if you look at the graph, what the calculator would be giving you is just that answer there. That would be 30 if we did an accurate picture. This is a sketch, so I'm just saying that would be 30 if you did an accurate picture. And that's what the calculator would give you if you do inverse sine of uh, 0.5, it'll give you 30 degrees, but that's only that answer. If you want to give all answers from 0 to 360 degrees, there will be a second answer, and that second answer, you will just simply drop down from there, and you will read off the scale there. Okay, now, some of you may notice the symmetry of the sine wave that's taking place. This is just an aside now, because um, it's not really what this video is about. Um, if that from there to there is a gap of 30 degrees, then from symmetry, then actually that would be a gap of 30 degrees as well. And so actually I know that that would be 150 degrees. Okay? So what I'm saying to you is if you did an accurate plot and you dropped those verticals down, you would find that there would be 30 and 150 degrees. On a calculator, you only get the 30 degrees. It doesn't give you the 150 so you would write down your answer, therefore x will be equal to 30 degrees, comma, and 150 degrees. That's how you'd write down the answer for a trig equation 
from 0 to 360 sine x equals 0.5. Okay, now this is really simple principle. So let me, for a second one, just go through the mechanics again of what you'd need to do to solve a different trig equation. So for example, if I get rid of this, a second trig equation, I'm not going to do this one at all, I'm just going to go through the mechanics of it. If I was to solve cos of x equals minus 0.7, for example. I'm not, I forget about calculator, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just saying, what would you do? If I want to do an accurate diagram to get the answer to this without any use of a calculator whatsoever, this is what you do. You'd set up a graph, and on this graph, you would draw an accurate y equals cos x graph. Well, I know what that looks like, so basically, you'd get something like this. This is just a sketch of what you would get. Something like that. That's the cos x graph. Uh, 0 degrees to 360. You need to check that out before you go any further. So you get one complete cycle, 0 to 360, of the cos wave. Once you've done that, you can label it if you want. y equals cos x, like so. And put on the values 1, and down here is minus 1. And then if you want to put on the um, angle v values here, that would be 0 that would be 90, that would be 180, that would be 270, and right at the end that would be 360. This is just a sketch to show you what's going on. Okay, so next what would you do? Well, you take the right-hand side and you plot the line y equals minus 0.7. So, on this particular sort of sketch, minus 0.7 would be a bit about there, minus 0.7, and you just draw a horizontal line like so. That's y equals minus 0.7. Now you can see that the two graphs, the cos wave and the straight line, intersect in two places, one there and one there. If this was a really accurate graph, did a table of values for that, plotted that one accurately on an accurate scale, your two solutions to that trig equation between 0 and 360 can be found by reading up to your x-axis like so. And they would be your two answers, and you could get that from your trig graph um, without using a calculator at all once the graph has been drawn. Once the graph has been drawn with a table of values, you can then use your graph to get your answers. And that's how you would use y equals cos x graph to solve that equation. Okay, so ve two very simple one sign, one, one cos example of how you would use a sketch, sorry, an accurate diagram to get a solution to a trig equation. That's the end of this video.